Hi, I'm Stephen from Hanzinotech. I'm here to talk to you today about how to change over from our PL mount onto our Canon EF mount. Similar process as well for our Sony E mount. So for demonstration purposes, I'll be using our Celera 25 millimeter here. Um, yeah, fixed focal length lens and let's get started. Here we have a T6 Torx wrench, um, quite industry standard, used for many other uh, lens manufacturers for changing mounts. We have it set to 0.3 Newton meters. Other manufacturers have up to 0.4 I've seen. So yeah, just once you've locked, backed off most of the uh, screws that hold onto the PL mount, it just pops off like that. And you can see as we have here a nice uh, red shim underneath. Red shim means it's uh, 0.038. And so here's just a little list that we have. Uh, one can buy shims from us as well as uh, from other manufacturers. Doesn't necessarily have to be from us because these are standard shims that are used even on other lenses as well. And uh, so yeah, you can see here's the different colors of the shims, so the different thicknesses. And yeah, once that's set, it would help if one had a collimator. Uh, one could easily test this with a collimator. I've known some cameramen, they've actually used their cameras for testing. It can work as well. And uh, yeah, so once one has a, a shim, then you can, Basically see we have a white dot here, which corresponds to, and there's only basically one way to set this onto the lens. You can't, you can't make a mistake. And so this is basically just the base mount for the EF. And then just put the base mount for the EF on like that. And then we'll just tighten it up. For demonstration purposes, I'll just tighten only one screw. And you'll hear, it does the click sounds. So you know exactly that it's at 0.3. Then we'll take the EF mount itself and the EF mount, we've actually built out of stainless steel to be very robust, sturdy mount that doesn't have any give, that doesn't have any free play. So this is basically our answer to get as, as, as best of a quality as we can. And it's very simple. You can see this red dot here for the EF mount. It corresponds and lines up to the white mount of here. So it's just very simple. Line up the two dots and you're ready to go. And we'll just give this one a couple quick turns and Lock it in, you're done. So if you do that to all the screws basically, there you got it, Canon EF mount. Very simple, very quick. And if you have any more further questions, please feel free to contact us or through our Facebook page or through our website. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you guys again soon. Bye for now.